No, Amira! Oh my god, nah. -uh. You have to stay. Oh my god! <gasps> Wait, why is his mother yelling at her? Welcome back to another episode of the royal family if you saw I mentioned in my last video that I do have a new setup I am actually in Jake and I's bedroom now because I got a new desk and we didn't have anywhere else to put it besides like the corner of our bedroom So I made like the setup I'll show it to you guys when I'm like completely done because I want to add like shelves with like cute little things from like Animal Crossing and Pokemon and like sim stuff So I'm really excited to do that So I got my desk on Amazon too and I have like all my lights and like cool setup so I'm really 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 excited I actually will link all this stuff in the description below I'll put the link to the desk that I got and I also have put down there like the link to my laptop and like the stuff I use to edit all my videos I did become an Amazon affiliate so when you guys click on that link and if you end up buying anything it does help me out a lot so I'll put the link to, like my backdrop on there if you guys are interested in like the fairy lights that I have back there too I'll probably link more stuff in the future as well just like as things come up so just so you guys know but if you're just interested at all that's where you can find that is in the description below. I actually also have Bubbles sitting on my lap today. He is being super, super clingy and he wanted to hang out. So he's just like hanging out. So if you see this little like black fur ball sitting on my lap, then you guys know what that is. You won't be able to see him in the back anymore sitting on my couch, this like random little fur ball back there. Now he'll be in my lap. So yeah, just so you guys know. So before we begin today's episode, just a little recap of the last episode. In the last episode, we aged up the royal twins of Windenburg, Prince Charles, and Princess Bellatrix, so they turned into toddlers. We also had Princess Leilana go on a date with Prince Jack of Willow Creek, and their date went pretty well. I did get some comments in that video too, so I'll definitely talk about that in this episode. In this episode, we are going to age up Princess May and Prince Johan. So they're gonna have their birthday party, they're gonna have a joint birthday party and turn into young adults. I'm not 100% sure yet if Queen Evangeline will be having her baby in this episode. We'll just have to see, because she's in her second trimester right now, so she's not in her third trimester yet. And then also if we have time, we're going to have Princess Amira meet Makai's parents. So that is going to be a new thing. So I'm really excited for that. So if you're excited for this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and begin today's episode. Okay, so I already have Princess Amira who is starting by inviting everyone to this birthday party. I feel like she has matured like a lot, even though she hasn't been a young adult for very, where's the birthday party? There it is. Okay, even though she hasn't been a young adult for very long, I feel like she has matured a lot. And I feel like because her and her sister weren't on the best terms still, I feel like she's trying to like make peace by throwing them a birthday party. So we're going to go ahead and invite everyone when I always show you guys who invi I invite and you guys will see them in the at like at the party So I'm just gonna skip through this Okay, so we are actually going to have the birthday party at the royal family of Brindleton Bay because we don't get to spend that much time at their castle And we're actually already here. So I'm just going to throw the birthday party here. It's a beautiful castle So I'm like, you know what we might as well also it's spring now So I don't have to worry about any snow and the cold and people dying from the freezing cold Which makes me so happy also. We all have like our new our new party outfits and stuff that we got from like the, the video that I posted a few days ago So now they have all their new outfits, which I'm super excited about. It's very very. Oh, it's dark Oh, because it's like 7 a.m. On a Sunday. That's a, not the best time to be throwing parties and stuff But oh my god, you guys look at Princess Amira. She's so pretty I want to like actually go to her, but it's so so dark, but oh, okay, and then you know what? Um, The king king. Oh, no, that's not the king. That's low two of Sulan. Oh, whoa, wait, did I invite him? What's he doing here? Okay, well, I don't think he has like an alternative outfit. Oh, well, that's okay. I thought I invited King Makai. Oh, I guess Princess Amira kind of knows Makai's, or not King Mahaka. Oh my God, I can't talk. Okay, I meant King Ma Mahaka. Not Makai. So that's who I thought I invited, but apparently I invited Lotu, which is Makai's father. So I guess Princess Amira does know him, sort of. So that's interesting. Okay. Well, I am going to start by, I think we should just get like the cake thing kind of set because that's always the thing that takes the longest. So you know what? Prince Kellen cooks for all of our parties. He like bakes the cake for all the parties. So I'm just gonna have him bake the cake for this party too. Do they have custom content like cakes that you could make? That would be really cool. I'm just gonna do a chocolate cake because if you could do like an Oreo cake or like a birthday confetti cake or it would 
just be so much nicer if I had like a variety of cakes that I could choose from, like really extravagant cakes too. Cause like, you know, I work at like an event venue, so I see wedding cakes all the time and they're gorgeous. They're amazing. So I would just love the option to do some really extravagant cakes but I'll actually have to look into that to see if that's like a mod or custom content thing. Okay, so we also have their cousins here. We have Lady Ezra, and then I'm pretty sure Lady Aurora and Lady Sidira here too. Lady Ezra should be turning into a teenager pretty soon also, but she's not quite yet. I love them, guys. I, I definitely wanna pay more attention to them soon because they're so, so great. I love them a lot. Also, I didn't realize that Princess May and Princess Amira's dress are like kind of similar, but like I like that they're kind of similar, but they're not the same. Like it's, it's just makes it really cute because they're like sisters and stuff too. So I think that's really adorable. Oh, it looks like Lady Arya is here too. I'm going to have Princess Amira go talk to her because I think they, they were pretty close friends and I was like kind of suspicious about their friendship. But now that Princess Amira has like started to mature, I think she really does like Lady Arya. So that'll be very, very cool. Okay, wait, wait, Prince Kellen, what happened to the cake? I forgot that I have to like keep an eye on things things when he's where's the cake whoa 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 i thought you were baking the cake did you finish already i always have to keep an eye on things because people always eat it oh there it is oh no one take that cake <gasps> okay at birthday candles before before it looks like queen evangeline is about to take a slice of the cake and i don't want her to she can't take a slice of the cake yet okay there we go all right so we have added the birthday candles so i'm gonna put the birthday cake right here and then i think prince oh no wait why is she so sad sad bomb drunk <gasps> oh wait why are you sad though well she got a little too carried away at her own birthday party oh my goodness gracious oh and then you guys can see little baby bellatrix she's so cute i have i like had to change her name because i was doing the create a sim stuff and her name was too long and it wouldn't let me save so now she's just princess bella but i'll change that later i'll worry about it later so that's a prince charles and they're so cute and prince charles is talking to king edmund which is his uncle and they're all just adorable, you guys. We have Queen Nea here. Oh my God, the queen. She's amazing. She's beautiful. Her dress is beautiful. Oh, she's such a queen. She's honestly one of my favorites. And then I think that Princess Leilana probably needs to change her outfit. This looks like a hot weather outfit. Is this really her party outfit? Um, MC dresser and then change outfit. Yeah, cause I don't think, I mean, that could be a party outfit for like Sulani party outfit, but this should be her party outfit. So I'm gonna have her change. And then I need Princess May. You know what? No, Princess May is not going to blow out the candles yet because actually I'm pretty sure Johan is older than her by like a few minutes. So I will just have him blow out the candles first. So age up Sim and then we're going to age up Prince Johan, wherever he went, there he is. Okay, so he'll age up first and then I'll have Princess May blow out the candles. Princess Megan, hey, I heard you and Princess Lilana are good friends now. Oh, okay, well, I guess they are. Is Princess Megan not here? <gasps> Was she not on the invite list? Uh oh, uh oh, Um, yeah, invite her to hang out. She should be here too. I don't know why. I guess Princess Amira doesn't know her as well. So I should probably have Princess Amira introduce herself to her when she arrives. And then Queen Cora is here too, guys. Amira definitely reminds me of Cora. Well, no, she reminds me of Princess Anna probably a lot more. And I'm pretty sure Princess Anna is here somewhere too. I don't think I changed her name to Marchioness yet. I definitely need to do that. Oh, wait. Oh, did I miss? Wait, oh no, I missed Johan blowing out the candles i think where'd he go <gasps> no no one like i can't have anyone take a slice of cake yet we need to add birthday candles on here before anyone takes a slice of cake i guess johan aged up he's a young adult now so i totally missed that oh, okay well the cater added candles for us so thank you i guess but i need princess may to blow up the candles now but she's very sad guys I don't want her to be sad. Oh, it's her own birthday party though. Okay, well, she's gonna blow out the candles. I think she'd be okay. Oh my gosh, guys, seriously, she's so sad. <laughs> oh, she's like, I don't even know how to explain what's happening. She's like celebrating, but also, <laughs> stop crying. Stop crying! Oh my goodness gracious, what is happening right now? Why are you so sad? Usually Amira's the emotional one, not not Princess May. Okay, now she's blowing up the candles. She seems okay, I think. Oh, she's a young adult now! Okay, <gasps> okay, so Princess May has aged up. I kind of want to do a random treat for her too. Okay, let's see what we get though. I don't, no promises that I'm gonna keep whatever we get. Um, absent-minded, that's definitely not Princess May. 
I'm not even gonna do that. Yeah, that is the custom content trait that I have. So it says absent-minded Sims get lost in their thoughts and occasionally forget what they're doing or where they are. I don't think that's Princess May. I'm pretty sure Princess May is very intelligent. She's very adventurous. She's very like free-spirited. So it's definitely not her. So I'm not gonna keep that. So we'll do something else. What is this? A foodie. Ooh, Um. I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. She doesn't really seem like a foodie to me, but she could be. She could be super adventurous. Maybe she likes to try new foods from different cultures and stuff. <gasps> yeah, okay, so we'll do that for her. So we'll keep that so she's now a foodie, but she also loves the outdoors. She's very adventurous. So she's just great guy. Oh, does it say princess is, or not princess. It says Queen Isabel has sent Princess May a gift, which is her grandmother. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so now we're going to call everyone to the meal so everyone can come grab a slice of cake. Did the caterer make another cake? Yes, they did. Cause I was like, everyone's eating like white cake, but we don't have white cake. We made chocolate cake, so I don't understand. Oh my God, guys, I love Sadira. Lady Sadira is beautiful. I cannot wait until she ages up into a teenager. She's seriously going to be like, like the most attractive sim ever. I'm so excited for her. Oh, and then, okay, so Queen Ava, how much longer do you have? You're still in your second trimester. You're gonna be in your third trimester in five hours. So I don't think we're gonna get to her having her baby in this episode, but maybe the next episode. I do really have to go soon. Jake and I are supposed to, well, I'm supposed to go first because Jake's at work until nine, but we are supposed to go to his parents' house for dinner because his brother, his older brother's actually on the national tour of Aladdin, the musical. So they are, at the Kennedy Center for a few months. So, which is, the Kennedy Center is in DC, which is close to where I live. So he's here. So we're, they're having like a family dinner and I'm, I'm supposed to go really soon. So I should probably go soon, but I, it's okay. I will just finish up this episode first. Oh my God, look at what like the, on the TV. Did you see that? It looked like this. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? I feel like this is not appropriate for a royal birthday party. Turn it off. That's too much. Also guys, so now that they're young and, oh, wow, this is crowded. I did not realize how crowded. What is happening? Oh my God. <gasps> Oh my God, something's glitching. I really need to clear out my custom content folder, I think, because I feel like I've been getting a few more glitches than usual lately, so that might be a problem. So I actually, oh, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, oh, wait, no, I don't remember. I'll come back to it later if it comes back to me. But now that, oh, oh, that was it. Okay, so now that Princess May and Johan are young adults, they are still like arranged to be married. So I think they might be having their wedding pretty soon. I don't know. I like, I was waiting for more drama to happen between them and with Princess Amira, I still haven't 100% figured out what to do about Amira and Johan and May and Makai because some people agreed with me that Princess Amira doesn't really fit in Sulani and then like other people wanted Princess Amira really badly to be the queen of Brindleton Bay. So I'm just kind of back and forth. I haven't completely decided yet. So I'll do that later. But I like technically I think that May and Johan should be getting married pretty soon. Who is posing in there? <gasps> Lady Arya. Oh my goodness gracious. This is this is much. This is too much. Okay. Well, I think this is very scandalous to be happening at a party at a royal birthday party. Oh my gosh. What is happening right now? Oh Oh my God, a Princess Amira, she's also in her bathing suit, but she's not posing like Lady Arya is. Oh my God, okay, well, some scandalous stuff is happening right now and I don't know what. But now that we've achieved what we need to for the birthday party, I'm just going to end this early. I'm actually going to play from Makai's point of view because I want to invite over Princess Amira to meet his parents, which is a big deal. I feel like his parents have heard of Princess Amira, which is like not always the best thing because she kind of has some like bad reputation going on just because of what happened with Johan and like Johan's father telling Amira's father that he didn't want her to be the queen of Brindleton Bay anymore. So I feel like they've heard a lot of stuff and they're just kind of like on edge. So they told Makai like, we need to meet this girl. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna go, but we'll see. I'm actually really excited to do this. So we're gonna invite over. I'm gonna have like a dinner party. Technically it's not dinner time, but we'll still invite her over anyway. Okay, so we are now with with Makai's family. So I'm going to have him do a dinner party. So plan a social event. And we're really just going to invite Amira. And I mean, like technically, it's, well, no, because him and his family are going to be the hosts. So we're going to, do, ooh, should we do a kava party? No, I feel like, no, I feel like it should be a 
a dinner party. So we'll do that. And then the hosts are going to be him and his family. I mean, technically his little brother too, but he's going to be a guest, I guess. And then Princess Amira, who will hopefully not show up in her bathing suit. We're not gonna have a caterer because we're going to have his mother and father cook because they're going to make a really cool Sulani, what is it called? Like a, like a, what is it? What is it called? A, a cultural Sulani meal or something like that? A, a native Sulani meal? That's it, a native Sulani meal. So I'm going to have Ali'i, uh, she's going to cook a feast. Ooh, let's do, let's do pork adobo. I love all this stuff. Oh my God, I have no idea what Jake's parents are making, but sometimes they'll make adobo and like Hawaiian food and oh, it's so good. Oh, I'm actually so hungry right now too. <laughs> that's okay though, okay. And then, oh wait, Queen Lokalani's here. Uh-oh, that's intimidating. Wait, oh, oh, and then wait, Princess Layla. Okay, we're kind of in the middle of something and like they already know Amira, but I'm going going to have, oh no, 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 that's not what I was wanted to do. I'm going to ask them to leave because we're kind of in the middle of something right now. So we're just going to send them home and then I will deal with them later. So I think, okay, so Princess Amira should be getting here pretty soon. What is Makai wearing? Is this like his hot weather outfit or something? Is it hot already? It's like the first day of spring. How'd it get to be like this, this hot already? I don't know where Princess Amira is. I feel like she should be here by now. Okay, so it doesn't look like she's actually here and I don't know why. So I'm just gonna teleport her here and then we're going to, I guess I'll start hanging out. I don't know why we invited her. So she should be here. So that, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, well, sim commands and then teleport world sim. So we'll teleport Princess Amira here. Although she's, oh good. Okay, she changed from her uh, outfit into her everyday outfit for, or from her swimsuit into her everyday outfit. So we need to ask her to hang out because otherwise she's going to leave. So ask you to hang out because we invited you to this dinner party and you are like not acknowledged. Oh, he kissed her on the cheek, hello. Oh, okay. Well, he's asking her to hang out now. So then Princess Amira, so they need to introduce themselves. His parents need to introduce, oh, attempt introduction. Okay, Uh, well, for the purpose of the, oh, he's a proper celebrity. Well, that's fine. Okay, attempt introduction, that should be fine. Well, this will be like a huge thing because if she like, if they're, if they don't, if they get like turned down on their introductions, that's like very embarrassing and like not going to look good. Like she needs to acknowledge them even though they aren't like global celebrities. Although they're like fawning over her, which is I feel like not something they would do. I don't know. His dad seems pretty friendly though. I don't know as much about his mother. Like I feel like she's maybe not as friendly. She's definitely like, she, well, she's the King of Sulani's sister. So she's a little bit more like just, like a not not stiff. I don't know what the word is, but like a little more strict. But I don't know. We'll just have to see. So I, she's supposed to introduce herself to Amira, though. I don't know why she isn't. So uh, go back and introduce yourself. Why are they embarrassed? Because what's that? Sm oh, her breath is terrible. Well, that's not good. And why are you sleeping? What is happening right now? Okay. Well, I that that needs to change. Also, I asked you to leave, Princess Leilana. Why are you still here? Okay. So the pork adobo will be ready in 13 minutes. Did Ali, okay, so she introduced herself to Amira. So they are, I guess, just hanging out in the kitchen. So I guess try to exclaim adoration. Oh, maybe she likes her a lot. I don't know, ask about interest. Yeah, I feel like she started to question her a little bit. Be like, so what are you into? And like, why are you like my son? What, what are your intentions with my child? I feel like that's like exactly what she would do. King Mahaga's here too. Everyone's here. Okay, we're, we, you, gotta, you gotta go. We're, we're in the middle of a family thing. Like I know your family too, but like it's not, it's not the same thing. So makes him leave, okay. Okay, and then Makai is about to go play chess apparently. No, you need to, we need, we need to set this out. So grab the meal and then I'm going to have them all eat here. I am going to have, oh, this looks like, like it was a leftover meal or something. We're gonna, we're gonna put that away. Okay, so I'm going to have his brother Kona. He's going to set the table. So let's just do a casual setting, like a red casual setting or something. So he's gonna set the table and then, okay, I guess just put it on the floor, that's fine. Um, so we're going to, put this here. I actually want this to kind of be in the middle. I know we have like this cute little candle thing there, but I'm just gonna get rid of that because otherwise they don't do a play setting for it, which I find a little bit weird. Oh no, I can't put it in the middle of the table? Seriously? 
Well, shoot. Okay. Well, well, now I want the candle back. Can I? Get, I can't get the candle back without like actually looking for it. <gasps> uh, okay. You know what? That's fine. It'll be okay. But yeah, I set out this little dining area for them outside, and then I also like they have the dining area inside, but I thought it would be more appropriate for them to eat outside. Plus, like, I feel like they spent as much time outside as possible because, like, oh my gosh, wouldn't you, if you were, like, seeing this view, it's absolutely amazing, guys. I love, and you can see the castle from here, too. This is amazing. Oh my god. This is such a beautiful world. Oh, it's getting late. Oh my goodness gracious already. Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. It's like the moon's on one side, but like the sun is setting on the other side. Oh my god, the guys, the details in this is amazing. Okay, well, I'm going to have them call a meal. I asked you to leave. Why are you still here? Queen Mokalani, I'm sorry, but you gotta go. Man, the royal family of Sulani like really want to be here for real. <laughs> okay, so we're going to call everyone to the meal, but I don't, I, I like the royal family can't be here though. I don't want them to be here. They can't intrude on our meals. So we're going to call to meal, have everyone sit down. Uh, Kona was supposed to make the table, but he didn't end up doing that, but that that's okay, I feel like. So I don't know where, oh, Amira's playing the guitar. I forgot she's like super musically talented. So she like, I guess decided to just play some guitar, but she needs to come downstairs. So we're gonna have you, oh yeah, you need to introduce yourself to her too. Okay, so Makai is calling everyone to the meal. Meal. He chose to go with something a little bit more like European, like a little bit more conservative. I feel like that's because Amir is here. Even though I feel like Amir doesn't really care. Like she knows what clothes they wear and everything. So I feel like that's different. But okay, we're gonna have everyone come here. So go ahead and sit down over here. No, Amira! Oh my god, nah. -uh. You have to stay. You have to stay. Oh my gosh. Ask to hang out. Put your food down and ask her to hang out. She has to come back. She cannot leave. She's supposed to be here and have a dinner with you and your family. Guys, why won't she sit down? I hate this. No, everyone is sitting down except for you, Amira. Guys, why? Oh, okay, good. She sat down. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a cute little family thing. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, no, no. Go, go, low two. You have to sit back down too. Oh, oh wait, no. I want Makai to sit next to her. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so cute. Stop. <gasps> guys, I got it. They're all eating. Oh my gosh, yes. This this is, oh no, no, low to, oh, fine. Oh, he's not being any fun. Oh my gosh, no. Whoa, 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 what? What happened? Wait, what happened? Oh my God, <gasps> wait, why is his mother yelling at her? Oh my gosh, whoa, guys, what just happened? Oh no, does Makai's mom not like her? Oh no. Okay, this is kind of gonna be a problem if his mom doesn't like her. But like, Amira has, Try, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe because she wouldn't sit down at the meal at first or something. I don't know. I don't know why she doesn't like her because she's honestly been trying so hard. Like, Amira has been trying so hard. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. And then Makai is like, oh, my God, Mom, why are you yelling at her? Oh, God, guys, this has turned into a horrible situation. Oh, my God, Makai's yelling like crazy. <gasps> oh, no. Oh my gosh, you guys. Amira's like trying to be positive, but Makai is like trying to handle the situation and it is just not going well. And Amira's just like, you know what? I can't. Like, she's like getting up to leave. Oh my god, Makai's so mad at his mom right now. Like, he's like, why are you yelling at my girlfriend? Like, what'd she do? Like, what is happening right now? <gasps> oh my god, he looks so angry, you guys. She did not like her. She didn't like her. <gasps> Should she go apologize? Should we try to make her apologize to Amira? Although, like, okay, I didn't even do that, though, guys. Like, I didn't even tell her to yell at her or anything. So, I don't know why she got so upset. Maybe, can can you, oh, wait, what'd I do? You, I don't know if she can apologize to her. <gasps> That's not even an option on here. Uh-oh, and now Makai's kind of irritated. Uh, Makai, you should probably go talk to your girlfriend and console her because your mother was just horribly mean to her. Oh, she's not even his girlfriend yet. <gasps> oh! Uh-oh. Okay, they're not even dating yet, you guys. Like, I feel like Makai was still trying to hold things off. And, like, now that, like, I feel like he, they didn't want to make things, like, completely official. Like, I feel like he told his mom about Amira. I feel like he didn't want to make things completely official yet before, like, his, because I feel like his parents' blessing means a lot to him. I feel like he's extremely family-oriented and, honestly, probably a little bit of a mama's boy, too. So, 
Uh, sh but his mom didn't like a mirror. So that's a problem and I don't really know what to do now or where to go from here. Uh, it doesn't look like that went well and Amira seems to be handling it okay. Maybe I should try to have them talk again. Okay, I'm gonna have her. Let's just try again. I feel like this is really important to Makai. So ask her about interests again. So just try to do some friendly stuff and then like hopefully this is gonna go okay. It I don't have that many friendly interaction options for her, which seems very weird to me, and I don't know why it's like that. Okay, guys, Makai looks kind of irritated, and I don't know why, but Ali, she is talking to Amira again, and I think they're going pretty well. I had her ask her about her interests, and then low to Makai's father's trying to come over here and like also talk to them. I feel like <laughs> Ali is like, hey, husband, come here. <laughs> like, where are you going? Makai just waved bye to Amira though. I don't know, Makai seems irritated about something or like he's, I feel like he's a plot. Oh no, oh no! Oh my gosh, not again. Wait, I wanna see this. Wait, 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 what's happening? Wait, I, Lotu's in the way. Oh my gosh, <gasps> she's upset again. What is happening again? Seriously? Poor Amira, she's getting attacked. And Makai is like not doing anything about it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ali is like about to walk away. She's like, yep, I've done what I needed to. Okay, I really don't think Makai's mother likes her and I don't think she wants her to be with it, her son. And they're like being romantic in the background right now, but like Amira and Makai are talking and things don't seem to be going very well. So, oh my God, you guys, okay. Well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I know it was super, super short, I apologize, but I do have to get to Jake's parents for dinner, so I really need to go, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. I don't know what to do about Makai's mother not liking Amira. Her, his father seems to be okay with her, but the mother not so much. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Let me know your thoughts of everything in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications in the next episode we will have Queen Evangeline have her baby so I'm so so excited to do that and then I think we're also going to have like all the other teenagers start to age up as well so we're gonna have a lot of fun birthday parties maybe some drama happening too some relationship drama we'll see what happens with all of this and like some of the other relationships so I'm so excited to do that but anyway thank you guys so much again for watching thank you to all my lovely new subscribers I love you guys lots so I'm going to end this video here like I said again and I will see you guys in the next video Bye.